Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is day number three. Uh, I started recording very late today. But then khair inshallah. Um, by the way, I've been getting the name of this part of the of the area wrong. This is actually Suisiri Ba. Yesterday when we went to the to the food place, that was Suisiri Alif. And the place where the Maktaba is, that's called um, Sakar Quraysh, you know. So I've, I've thought this was Sakar Quraysh as well, but no, no. This is Suisiri Ba. And uh, Sakhar Quraysh, Quraysh is the other side, where the Masjid and the Maktaba is. But yeah, started record late today. Just had some uh, few things to do. And I couldn't start recording earlier. So now it's after Asr anyway, so Maghrib is the night. Uh, an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Just going to do a little bit of walking around. It's biker, mashallah. I noticed there's a lot of cars and I was telling Abdullah yesterday that I think people can afford cars here are much more easier it's not a very rich area but there's cars everywhere there's all the old versions or models of cars but they don't they don't look like mashed up it's like very retro like that one there it's a bit a bit more recent but yeah there's a lot of these there's a lot of these cars around the old models the old styles one to be honest there's many gardens gardens around as well that they're like dirty and not really Taking care of. There's some Somali shops over there. Somali shops over there as well. Inshallah. Fruit. Uh, mobile fruit market, basically. People like when you're recording something. It's following me now. Huh? Okay. Okay. Ta? Okay. That kid over there, subhanAllah. He was a. Uh, says from Misri, he's from here anyway. He's Egyptian. And he goes to me, Anta na mortal Misr. I laughed. And then I said to him, Do you know my name? Do you guess what my name is? Said, my name is Nuruddin and he just laughed. He said, Allah, Allah. <laughs> but yeah, he said uh, he's gonna be at Sherbini, he's gonna meet me there. Maghrib time. I'm like, Come, that's fine. But yeah, I don't know, I was recording it, but I, I thought I was recording when, when he was talking, but uh, he wasn't recording. So yeah, I missed that part. SubhanAllah, they're just calling for Salat al Maghrib now. And I was told earlier by Abdullah that. The adhan that you're hearing is actually pre-recorded. They just play in the masjid. And I was I was surprised. So fun fact, I don't know if it's just Masjid al Nasr or other places in Egypt or is it like that in, in Egypt in general. But this adhan you're hearing right now is pre-recorded. I was shocked. Now what is the ruling on this? One the what, what's the ruling on first of all making that type of adhan, that's number one. Number two. What is the ruling on repeating? Should you repeat the azan in this case and make the dua that is you know well known? What do you do? If you have any fatwa or something like that, then yeah, please do that in the comments. And uh, oh yeah, we we'll just we we'll just find out inshallah. But it's weird though. I've never heard of this. Never heard of this. I don't even know how they came up with that ruling. To be honest, having the azan which is pre-recorded. But yeah, just keep in mind. If you're in Egypt, you gotta you gotta pay attention. He said the only message that he knows that does it in this area is uh, Nur Muhammadi. Apart from that, he doesn't know any other message that does it like a life other than. So 
told. Now, I don't know if you found out about the word Shirbini or the name Shirbini, but inshallah, I'm just going to pray inshallah and then I'll let you know what it means. So, guess who, guess who came right in front of me when I entered the masjid? Ahmed. I stepped foot in the masjid, he was there straight away. Jamie, hey, Ahmed. Polly, Polly. Tedros film, what's up? Yeah, Mustawa. Sad is, huh? Inshallah. Come on, bro. Huh? Ethan Ashara. Inshallah. Lemon Takena and your couple and the mother, mother called Annie. Huh? Hold on. Nawat, 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 خلاص يعني عجيب صح؟ هذه معجزة خلاص إن شاء الله جميل نخرج ونأخذ الرز في الخارج الطعام يعني يوزع الطعام يوزع في في يعني خارج المسجد ما تعرف؟ شوف نمشي نمشي تعال اسم في دايس that gets just distributed outside the masjid after صلاة المغرب so I'm gonna grab mine before he finishes it. Yesterday I came and it was finished. Today, I ain't trying to miss it. Found out the step on my sandals, man. Ahmed. Yeah. I think that's his mom. Oh, Allah. I'm gonna give him. Hmm? Good. Yes, yeah, شكرا. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's my boy Ahmed. Me and him are chilling. What the girl is you? Huh? Brutania. La, I gave somebody. Brutania. Like in Aslan, in Cameroon. Tell me, it's in Cameroon. Abdullah left, you know. I'm looking for Abdullah. He's, he's, he's here. Inshallah, I don't know where he went. Look at the queue. Look at the queue. Inshallah. All of this. The generosity of the Egyptians. I think they give privileged foreigners to take, man. Subhanallah. Oh, they give to the, the they give birds and foreigners. I'm gonna go telling me not to come, not to record. Much today. Thank you. 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 Thank I think they give precedence to the foreigners, man. But yeah, alhamdulillah, free food, you know. We like free food. The British, we like free food. I don't think you can see. I can't even see Ahmed, man. He's gone. Ajee. They say you have to go the other way. I don't even know this way. It's dark. Yeah, actually. It leads to the front of the masjid. But yeah, let's check what's inside. Let's check what's inside. Allah, we have some rice, some potatoes, and a spoon, alhamdulillah, and a big chunk of meat. Man, Abdullah! Oh, he left already. Abdullah is quick, it's quick. He grabbed it and left, he went straight away. I think for the food, they give present to the foreigners, right? They give it to like, like non-Egyptians, I think. No, I think those guys... No, the queue though. I'm talking about the queue. In the queue, there's like Egyptians and like uh, other black... I think... I don't know. I don't know how no, they I know. I think those guys on the right are not from the people in the message. They might just come for the, with their tuk-tuks. They're the three-wheelers. Okay. So 
they just come and they wait and then get their food. No, no, I'm talking about the ones under under the, 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 the long queue. Yeah, them are not simple drivers. All of them? Yeah. All of that queue? Oh yeah, yeah. There's there's loads of them outside. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I see. Okay, so it's not even that. So they're getting present to people of the area, basically. People yeah, that come to the message. Yeah. I see. I see. Okay. From and those guys are just. Okay. I see. I see. Because I thought, because I, I was thinking, how did they know if a person is a foreigner or not or what? Because I was standing there, and then the guy said, "Yeah, time, time. Yeah, just come grab, grab one." Yeah. So they give it to the to the people of the area first. Mm, and the drivers are just like on the. What's it like? I subhanallah. Because I was wondering, you know that kid I was I was with? Yeah. You know where I met him? Where? I was just going I, I went outside, just uh, just walking around, <laughs> and then he saw me. Yeah. And then he goes to me, Where are you from? Sir. I'm like, I'm from um, from the U from the UK. Where are you from? He said, I'm Misri. Ah. Then I go to him, you what's your name? Know? Ahmed. Say it again? No. Please. You should have told me I wanted some some boss. I'm one, I didn't have much money on me, so huh? I didn't get So I said to him, yeah. I said to him, uh, Where are you from? He's like, No, I'm Egyptian. Yeah. I'm like, Okay, mashallah, it's good. So I go to him, uh, No, no, he said, He said, He said, Where are you from? I said, I'm from the, from, I'm from the UK. Yeah. You know what he said to me? He said, Nawartal Misr. Nawartal Misr. Come on, Abdullah, man. I'm exposing you on the internet. What do you mean? You've been spending Arabic for like for, for, for like five years now. How you don't know when Nawart al Misr? Okay. Tell him, tell him, uh, um, Samantha. What does that mean? Nawart al Misr? You lighten up Misr. I don't know. You Nawart. It's like you enlightened Misr. Like when you came, it was like a, subhanAllah, you know, like a light. It's like a light came. That's one. Two, and then I said to him, yeah. guess what my name is? What's that? Nuruddin. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I said, that's, a, that's crazy, right? He, was, he laughed. He said, Allah. Oh, Allah. But yeah, khair. It's munch time. So, Samantha gave us some, uh, no, actually it was Abdullah. Somali thing, some boss. And uh, I forgot the name of the pastry. What is it called? Is it bull? Is it bull? This bull. pastry. Uh, bull. Yeah, bull. You know, you know, in Egypt they have that with uh, Anjero. Proper, right? They wrap it up. Oh, they have like a samosas. Uh, no, they, yeah, the, the, the samosas wrapped yeah, with the Anjero. Yeah, they yeah. wrap the samosas. Yeah, yeah. man. I missed, I missed that. Always Ramadan, Akhi. Forget it, man. If that, banging. But yeah, this much. All of that stuff. I'm not going to lie. You know that video? Mm. That video, I remember it was eight day. Eight day? No, 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 not the video. That, that was a, that was a high park. Yeah. Yeah. We went there and we and saw him giving salams. I, I was just talking to him. But anyway, that video, when people saw it, there's one brother that I knew mm. from um, from Birmingham. Yeah. Me and him were cool, mm. but he's like we're not yeah, yeah. basically, so, so. you know. Me and him like we speak normally. On the eighth day, I think, I see him. Mm. You know what he said? He said, "Don't talk to me." Oh, and then he walked off. That was me, my brother, and some friends. Yeah. My friend, Sharif, he started laughing at him. He started laughing. And I'm thinking, me and that guy, we, we, we don't agree with each other like so, that, yeah. but we give salam like that. You so. know, we, we're fine. We talk sometimes. Mm. He says, How are you, Eight day, I'm telling you, eight day. And he said, Don't talk to me. And he just left. I was like, Oh, okay. Oh, That's deep. So I understand that that was from that video. Right. Before that, in Ramadan, yeah. I'm in the masjid, ready to pray for Taraweeh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw. Emotion. I saw. I saw. No, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pray. Yeah. This what comes to me. Uh, me and him were like, like having like, you know how you're in the masjid and just looking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No man. He comes to me. He said, "Akhi, you will look at me like, like, did you want to say something?" I'm like, "What? Do, what do you mean? I'm, I'm." Yeah, yeah so. that's that's their message though, you know. Yeah. So. Okay. That was that was that was in their message. Hey, what do you what do you mean? Let me say something. I don't want to say anything. Yeah. And then he goes, okay, okay. So you just want. Why? Because me and him were exchanging look like like, like yeah. I said, but then there was a gap. What's up? Next to him, mm. so I filled the gap. Yeah. And then he thought I was I, I was coming for him or something like that. Oh. I was surprised. Another time, I think. 
No, that same day actually, that same day I was walking through the masjid. Mm. There's one of the leaders in the in the yeah. in the in the in, you know in the, in the masjid. He was walking out of the masjid. So like he looked at me like I I contact for like you know how you're coming from one yeah, direction yeah, someone from someone so. from the other direction. We just locked eyes like that. We passed. I knew he would turn around. Yeah. So I turned around as well. I turned around and we looked again. So thinking that video, Rahi, that video got me in trouble, no doubt. <laughs> and all I wanted was Shamsi to come and give salams to Mufti. Or not even come, but just give him salams. Yeah, he actually that. agreed, Rahi. Yeah, I mean, really? He actually agreed in the video, but then I don't know why. Maybe he realized that, yo, can't go give salams to this guy. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm gonna get heat up. So and then he said, nah, I'm not giving salam. I'm, I'm, I'm just giving that one. He said, yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. But he actually agreed. I was talking to him, he said, yeah, okay, I'll come, I'll come, I'll come. Yeah. And then, like, when I was leaving, he was like, what's your name? What's your name? Like, tell him to, you. he said, what? Tell him to Toba. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, that video um, got me into some trouble. I was already in trouble anyway. Yeah. Way before that. Yeah, yeah now you're stepping towards, you know? Yeah. But I like Shamsi, though. Is that Allah khairan? I think he's doing a good dawah. Yeah. And if you're not told that he's with SP, you wouldn't really know. Yeah, know. His dawah is very neutral. And he's one of the first to start making videos. Yeah. Now, many are, th are doing videos. Yeah, like everyone else used to be no, no thing, no imagery on that. But, you know? Yeah. Anyway, man. They are brothers. It's not you. Huh? It's me. I took, I took my... No, I do have a different reason to be honest. I think, I think, I think that is drama. It's not that important. The reason why I say that, let me clarify. The reason why I say that, the reason why you say that grammar is important from the get go, that you that you should start grammar from the get go, from, from the, the get -go, beginning. Yeah. Okay, why is obviously with, with also collecting vocabulary. Mm -hmm. you understand? It's because if somebody knows how something should be structured, then if he if he speaks it in a, in a wrong manner, in a wrong manner. Then he can he can think he can correct himself a little bit because mm -hmm. he knows how a structure should take place you understand mm -hmm. but let's say you're unaware of what causes a fatha what causes a kasra what is mamnu min as mm -hmm. and all these things then you might say something put a fatha on it while in reality you shouldn't have a fatha yeah and you don't have the tools to correct yourself yeah because you haven't done any grammar no don't you think that's for a person who's trying to be perfect from the get-go you could say that, yeah. There's a good argument for that, yeah. Which is not the way languages are learned, basically. Are learned, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. If you don't, if you're trying to speak properly from the get-go, that's gonna be that's very difficult because you you you're, you're supposed to make mistakes from the beginning. Of Does course. that make sense? Look, just just like a just like a baby or a child when when when, when they start speaking, there's some words that they, they say. They, they, yeah, it's yeah, not it's not doesn't correct. Exactly, because but as time goes on, they start learning. Without knowing the details of the grammar, how things are Announce supposed it, to be yeah. said, does that make sense? Of course, of course, so, of course. I understand the, the, what, what you're saying. Maybe for Taliban, for example, who yeah, he's trying to I'm skip at it. exactly from that I'm angle, I so. might understand that you want you might want to start speaking correctly from the get go. But if you're trying to learn the language itself, then it's, different then game. it's a different game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to learn the vocabulary first, even if you don't know the you know the grammar, yeah. but at some point, just by tadaruj or by you know, just just doing he it over. Exactly. Yeah. So you would know that no, it's now you say this. Yeah, yeah. And to be honest, that's how the the language of the Arab was anyway. You think they had Nahon Sam? They didn't. From, from, the from the Nisan, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So as the methodology of learning Arabic, the way the Arabs used to do it themselves, even knowing the grammar used to be from the way they would speak. They would know this guy made the lahan. That's that's, that's a mistake. Yeah. But they, there was no Mumnumin al Sarf. Marfo, Majzoom, yeah, love. No, yeah. they didn't have that. That's what I said. So, from the Arab themselves, the real methodology Maybe is. Maybe I'm looking at it from a, from a very restrictive student angle then. That's, that's what I'm saying. I think you're looking at it from the angle of a person who wants to speak Arabic correctly from the get go. Yeah. Even those guys who, have, who know the, like, the grammar perfectly, they gonna, it's just a human error to fall mistake. Yeah, exactly. Even, even them. Yeah. So. Yeah, now. Yeah, even my friend, when I used to be my uh, my roommate, when he went to Saudi after he been studying for a bit, his brother heard him speaking every time he's using his Arabic because he's a student. His brother's a student. That he said, "On the way you speak, I can tell you, you don't care. You just want to say words. Like, you don't care about being perfect." Like that. <laughs>
Yeah, that's that's. I think that's the best thing. That's what that's what we do. If somebody is just yeah, like you said, we'll we'll have to look at what the goal of the person is. If it's to get the language, then it makes sense not to kill someone off with a grammar. Exactly. You know, you know the call I was I was taking earlier. Hmm. That's for an Arabic program. Okay. Andalus Institute. Oh yeah, Mohammed. Mohammed Andalusi, right? This is exactly what we do. He's a funny guy. He used to watch his videos. <laughs> The, the Egyptians, the ones yeah, the taxi Egyptians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was nice. I cracked me up that guy with that. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 the methodology, you know. Yeah. That's that's what that's that's how that's the way it's supposed to be. Look, for example, I don't know, you you were here today when I was speaking to the sister, right? Yeah. And yeah. and she was like, um, the other program she's doing, I'm not gonna name name it, but yeah, yeah. Like it was very grammar based and difficult and things like that. So. You know, also they say about um, just finished the Tarawi prayer, Shirbini, Alhamdulillah. It's one very nice feature they have. They have the Mushaf where the Imam is reciting when he's standing. That's actually, that's actually nice. I've never really experienced that like, like that before. You know the hadith of Aisha radiallahu anha is reported that, not the hadith of Aisha, but in the Athar, where he said that uh, Aisha used to make her slave. And she would pray behind her slave and he would hold the mushaf while reciting. So, is he holding the mushaf? Can you put the mushaf in front of you so you can start from it? A shahid, a shahid is permissible in Sunnah prayers. Any, to look into the mushaf when you're reciting. And it's actually something that many people don't do nowadays. So yeah, it's nice that they have you here, subhanAllah. I don't know what they got. Maybe they wish for something, but they This was uh, much lighter than yesterday. It's nearly an hour, an hour less than yesterday. So yeah, we went to the bookstore. And uh, I had some books that I wanted to buy, more books, alhamdulillah. And uh, on the way back, Abdullah was actually telling me that that kid Ahmed is the brother of the one that was chasing us yesterday. The irony, subhanAllah, the irony. If I see him tomorrow, I'm going to ask him, okay, you got to talk to your brother. But yeah, it's just funny how his brother harassed us yesterday. He, he, was, take, he, was, he was taking a make. And he was, you know, Ahmed was such a nice guy, to be honest. You know, I liked him, mashallah. And I blessed them bo both. I mean, and um, yeah, that was, that was, that was, it was funny when, I, when Abdullah said that to me. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> he said, you know, the brother that, the, the guy that chased us yesterday? That's his brother, the one you were sitting out in the masjid with. And yeah, khair, inshallah. What was the other thing I want to mention? Yeah. Shirbini. So, yeah. Uh, our Ustad, Samir, Disciple X. I messaged him yesterday. I was telling him, I'm in your, in your land. What's happening? Where you at? And he, and I was telling him where I was staying because, you know, when he asked. And then he said, yeah, I know that masjid. He said, uh, Ya Akhi, Al-Hafidh al-Shirbini died in 977. What are you talking about? And I didn't even know there was that was actually a person. So I researched it. And there's actually a person who was, you know, known as Shamsuddin, Hafid al Shirbini, and he actually authored a book and, uh, on the Shafi Madhab. So, yeah, check it out. And Hafid, Shamsuddin al Shirbini, he has a nice book. Samir mentioned it. I don't know exactly, I, 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 I just forgot the name of the book now. Now, I still haven't got the, the time to go to the market, no to the Arabic language Marakis, and I'm gonna have to do all of that tomorrow, inshallah. And uh, I also wanted to go to the other the other areas, but yeah, I, don't, I think I'm gonna do that Friday or Thursday and Friday, or perhaps the next time I come, Allah alam. But anyway, inshallah, see you on the next one. Assalamualaikum.